back over, I, I wrote an ad, a textbook on Adventist theology years ago, and I noticed that there's a difference between the first and second edition. They came out about 12 years apart. In the first edition, I said pretty much everything I thought I had to say about God, and then um, I added, uh, no discussion of the doctrine of God would be complete without mentioning the Trinity. Now, when somebody sort of uses that expression in the, you know, toward the end of a discourse, you sort of get the suspicion that he said pretty much everything he had to say about it and then thought, uh-oh, wait a minute, <laughs> somebody's going to notice that there's something missing. And so I put the uh, discussion of the Doctrine of the Trinity at the end. By the time the second edition came around, several years later, I put the Trinity right up front. In other words, if you want to know what Christians believe about God, it doesn't end with the Trinity, it starts with the Trinity. That's absolutely fundamental to our understanding of God. And in some ways, uh, in modern theology, there's been a similar emergence of interest in the doctrine of the Trinity. Years ago, when I was in graduate school, uh, granted it was not a conservative institution, but it did take very seriously Christianity, and uh, there wasn't a great deal of, of conversation about God, uh, or about the Trinity, I should say, a lot of discussion about God. But now, in more recent years, so much has emerged about the doctrine of the Trinity that some people feel uh, it's almost a bandwagon uh, with 